It's not a secret that our favorite GNU slash Linux based operating system has been the Peppermint OS for a long time. We did several Peppermint OS related videos, but after the project's lead, Mark Greaves' untimely death in January 2020, it's been slow in terms of development, and we are still waiting for the Peppermint OS version 11 to be released. Still, in our opinion, although its version Peppermint OS 10 Respin was released back in December 2019, Peppermint OS is, in our opinion, still alive and kicking. It's still quite relevant for daily use. Let's prove it. Ok, some components of the system are somewhat outdated. Like for instance the Peppermint OS's default Nemo file browser, which is taken from the Linux Mint project. In Peppermint OS 10 Respin, the Nemo file browser is version 4.0.6, which is way behind the current Nemo iteration of its native distribution. Or since Peppermint OS 10 Respin is based on Ubuntu 18.04, apps from the Ubuntu repositories are also a little bit old. For instance, the Audacity audio editor is version 2.2.1. Just a reminder, it's now version 3 available, as of the time of recording the video. It's the same with GIMP, a very popular image editor. In Peppermint OS 10 Respin, it's also an older version 2.8. But your crucial apps are up to date. Firefox, which is the default web browser, is regularly updated. As is the Brave web browser too. The system itself is still being regularly updated, because Ubuntu 18.04 will receive updates and security fixes up at least April 2023. So you have two more years to run your system. Of course, you have the latest version of all apps at your disposal. It's via Peppermint OS Software Manager, which is basically Linux Mint's app. So there you have all the Flatpak apps available. At the same time, Peppermint OS 10 offers Ubuntu's software app as well, which means that users also have all the Snap apps at their disposal. Additionally, the use of app images is supported, so you have another way of using the latest versions of your favorite applications. Well, Peppermint OS 10 Respin uses Papyrus Dark icon theme by default. It's obviously based on an older version of the very popular Papyrus icon theme. But it's not a big deal at all, simply because in our Peppermint OS 10 build we have easily added a modern and regularly updated icon theme QOGIR or whatever it is pronounced. We have also added the Plank Dark application with its modern theme, changing the OS's classic workflow and adding some modern feel to it. Also, we have changed the default desktop background by adding several custom wallpapers. If you happen to be a new user, just to tell you that all of these items can be found at the gnome-luke.org website, where you can find many cool things to customize your GNU slash Linux operating system. When a new Peppermint OS version comes out, which is Peppermint OS 11, users might get a few surprises there. 
while its home page of course still offers the Peppermint OS X version of the system. In its forums there is some news, reading that the new version will be based upon Debian this time around, instead of Ubuntu, and it will have a newer version of the XFC desktop environment, which means that the project will completely abandon LXDE parts of the system. Apart from Snap and Flatpak package management, the OS will also include app image support. Not everybody can afford all that state-of-the-art hardware, so it's good to have Peppermint OS around to support the lower end or older hardware that can still get the job done. The new Peppermint OS 11 version will eventually come, and while waiting you can still use version 10, which is still a stable and dependable operating system. We hope you've liked the video. If you do, give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you next time.